Hey guys, what's up? Ben with Big Stuff 3 here. So today we're going to go over how to update the firmware on a Gen 4 ECU. So uh, with the older Gen 3 ECUs, the, the firmware had to be updated uh, by sending it back to Big Stuff. And if you wanted to make any custom programming changes or if the firmware had to get updated, you had to actually send it back. Now everything is done over the internet. Uh, files are sent to you um over the e over over your email uh and for now they're going to be downloaded manually in the future we're going to have an automatic update which you can choose to incorporate or not but for now we just do it manually and the actual updating of the computer only takes about 60 seconds it's very fast everything else around it though takes about 10 minutes so what we're going to do is we're going to go from start to finish here uh to update an actual uh, ecu and uh, like I said, the actual updating itself is about 60 seconds. Everything else around it, though, takes a little longer. So first thing you want to do is you want to take a backup of your current file, okay? So what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to turn the key on, okay? And on my race pack dash, there's my ones and zeros. So I got a really bad glare right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my software. I'm going to fire it up. And I want to make a backup first because when this firmware patch is applied, or not a patch, a firmware update is applied, it's going to wipe everything out. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go into the software. I'm going to load everything up, okay? And I'm going to do a file, and I'm going to do a save to NAS, and you can name it whatever you want. This is just going with the date and the time, okay, right now. I'm just going to do date and time, and I'm going to go, okay. So with that, we've got a current file. We're good. I'm going to close this back out. This is all live data, so everything obviously looks okay. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off the ignition. Okay, and the software is going to go offline because I turned off the ignition. The, the Wi Fi router is going to say I got no more signal coming from the Gen 4. So, what we're going to do, we're going to come over here. We're going to pop out this little SD card right here. Okay, so that little guy. Is actually how we update it now this is also which holds all your data logs all your replay information this is all stored here okay and this card is a 8 gigabit card now it's very important that you do not change this card out leave this card in do not use a different 16 gigabit 64 gigabit use this card okay um, the size matters the speed matters the card it, 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 the ECU likes to use this card only okay so come over here every uh, ECU that you guys get a little SD card adapter, all just real generic stuff. So I'm gonna put that in right there, like so. Okay. I'm gonna come over here to my computer. I'm gonna put in the SD card adapter. It's gonna see it. Now mine is empty, but yours may not be, and it's okay because there may be replay files on it and everything. Don't worry about it. So what I'm gonna do is this is my new firmware. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it over to here. And we're all done. Then I like to get rid of the SD card by ejecting it through the software. It says, okay, take it. So now I'm taking it out. Okay. It's now ready to go. I'm going to come back over here. You can hear a little click when it goes in there nice and solid. It's nice and flush right there. Okay. So now, most important step here for the update is header 2, Y2 over here, okay? That needs to see 12 volts when the computer turns on. So I've got a switch over here, okay, that's labeled Y2, if you can, if you can see that, Y2. And this is going to send 12 volts to the ECU. And when the 12 volts is applied and I turn the ignition on, okay, it's going to know to go look for that update file. So 12 volts is on, okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the ignition on. I don't have a priming of a fuel pump. My race pack is all zeros, okay. That's indicating that we're updating. And if I look at my lights down here, okay, it's kind of tough to see. Um, sorry, I think that's my fat finger right there. Okay, we got some lights going on right there. Okay, and those lights are indicating that it is booting up, taking the update. Okay, 
that that light right there that orange light typically beats pretty fast okay so when you have a, uh, a vehicle like this with high electric fuel pumper as a race pack dash when the update is complete you're gonna see your data come back online okay so you, you'll hear the fuel pump prime and you will see your data come back so just gonna wait here takes about 60 seconds upper left hand corner is voltage lower left hand corner is gonna be water temperature and uh, it's almost done we'll see uh, there's our fuel pump priming again ECU is gonna come back to life there it is right there okay there's our voltage right there okay so now that we're good if I go down to my light right now there she goes she's blinking nice and fast too that's the speed you should see when everything's talking appropriately okay that's how fast that light should be blinking down there okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna come back over here we're gonna turn off Y2 okay I'm gonna turn off my ignition so now no more ignition switch okay I'm gonna come back I'm gonna grab my SD card okay there's my SD card we got to get that firmware off of it and delete it okay so let's come over to here okay SD card is back in oh look at that the software already saw that something's going on so I'm gonna take this card Okay, we're going to delete it. We're going to delete the firmware update. I want this card to be nice and empty. Okay, want nothing on it. All right, so now that card's out, I'm actually going to turn off the software right now. I'm just going to exit and go offline because I don't want to. I want that to be a next step. So now I'm going to uh, come back over here. I'm going to eject my SD card. There it is, ready. Take it out. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop my SD card back in. Okay. It's now in. It's popped in. It's good to go. Pretty easy, right? So, now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn my ignition back on. Okay. Ignition's back on got some data back up the race pack again I apologize for the for the glare on that but there it is all right so now I'm gonna open back up my software and it's gonna say hey there's something really wrong with your file what is going on here and I'm gonna sorry you could actually have a bunch of gen 4 softwares open I'm gonna I'm going to get them all turned off here. Okay. The very cool thing about the software, you can actually have multiple Gen 4s open at the same time. All right. So now we're going to come in here. My ignition is on. I'm going to connect. And the software is going to go, wait a minute, what is going on here? It's going to read the controller settings. It's going to say something's way different here. And it is because it's got a factory image on it. Okay. So depending on what software you have, you may see this nice difference report. This is the full-blown software. If you go uh, to the FI Analyst website for about 100 bucks, you get the full-blown version. I really recommend you do that. It's got these really nice difference reports. Um, it's got uh, backup strategies for saving your previous files. It, it has auto-tune. I would highly recommend going to the website and just picking it up. It's 100 bucks, and you get a full-blown version of the software versus the base version of the software um, that you can download off the internet for free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say send current Gen 4 settings and you can see here I've got 135 pages of differences because my tune-up is completely different from what the factory is, okay? So I'm gonna send the current settings. It's gonna say sending tune to controller. Okay, now last and most important step here, now that all my data is reading good, everything's back up, turn off the key, turn off the ignition. When you turn off the ignition now, everything is going to burn in, okay? Everything's going to go offline. I'd recommend waiting about 60 seconds or so um, to do this. So I'm going to 
speed the video up here for uh, for about 45 seconds or so, and then we'll uh, come back and uh, we'll make sure everything's all good. Okay, so we're back. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna turn on our ignition. Fuel pumps priming. Everything's back. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna and it fires right up and it goes. And that's it. You've now updated the firmware and it's good to go. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, we think it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. If you have any questions, reach out to me, ben at bigsev3efi.com and uh, we'll see you out there. Thanks guys.